Hi guys, I made a virtual tour for an architecture firm about a month ago. It's a tour of one of their extensions so they can show this to potential clients to showcase their work. Um, one of the rooms in particular required quite a bit of photoshopping. Some of the windows need cleaning, the walls have marks on. So I thought I'd show you guys a process of how to photoshop a 360 degree image. If you can see here, the windows are very dirty, the lighting's not great, there's a few marks on the walls, there's just quite a bit that needs to be fixed up. Okay, so I'm going to edit the photo in its equi-rectangular format. An equi-rectangular image is a spherical image, like the Earth, that is then distorted and flattened to create a flat image. Okay, so let's jump into it. First things first, we need to get rid of the tripod. It's a 360 degree photo, so the tripod is always going to be in the bottom of the shot, so I got rid of that. Then fix up a bit of the floor there. Next, I'm correcting the lighting here, adjusting the levels, the brightness, the saturation, until I've got the outcome that looks best. Here we need to correct this error in the wall. This is actually what's called a stitching error. Stitching errors occur occasionally when all the photos are put together from all the angles of the camera and they don't quite align with themselves. Although this was shot with the highest resolution 360 degree camera, you may still come across stitching errors. Here we've got these marks in the walls, which I can eradicate by moving these sections of the wall together like that. And up we go to the windows, getting rid of all that dirt on the windows so the glass is looking brand new. Ideally you want everything to look as clean as possible before you take the photo, but it's really not a problem to get rid of these kind of things. Okay, so here we've got another stitching error, so I'm just realigning this beam. So I tried to correct this white stain in the window but struggled a bit and decided to come back to it at the end. Another stitching error here. Something important to note, you do not want to touch anything that is right on the edge of the photo. It's a 360 degree photo so the left of the screen attaches with the edge of the right. Therefore if you edit it anything right on the edge it won't come together seamlessly and you'll be able to tell. Here I'm cleaning up these windows a bit more trying to tackle these green stains here. I'm actually going to take some of these stones from above and merge them in with the others. And no one's going to be able to tell. Then onto getting rid of this white stain here. And again with this here, I'm taking the brick section from above and overlaying it on here so these stains are removed. Fixing up a bit more, getting rid of more of these stains. I think if you're looking to get into making virtual tours, it's important to be proficient in Photoshop. You want to be able to showcase your client's venue in its best possible light. A lot of the time, I'll be in a room about to take a photo thinking everything looks in tip-top condition, then check out the photo afterwards on my laptop and notice small little things that just might need polishing up, like marks on the walls or anything like that. A lot of the time it's actually the reflection of the camera in a reflective surface that needs to be photoshopped out. But Photoshop is required more than you'd imagine and I think it's an important skill to have. And back to this end bit here that I struggled with at the start, trying to get rid of this white stain on the window. And what I'm actually going to do is take this section of bricks, line it up and then merge them together. There we go. Okay, that's it. That's how you Photoshop a virtual tour to make it look as top quality as you can make it. Thanks very much for watching and here's a before and after of the room.